Tesla and SpaceX billionaire Elon Musk made a shocking revelation recently. He said the world might suffer from a population collapse if birth rates continue to decrease. Elon Musk, popularly known for being outspoken, shares his opinion about the world's population. His ideas bring a fearful concern to many. The billionaire thinks the Earth needs to reproduce more humans or else the end of the world would be near. How accurate are Elon Musk's claims? Is anyone disputing these ideas? And can an artificial womb facility be the solution to Elon Musk's concerns? Like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the bell button to receive notifications immediately after we post a new video. Elon Musk started being vocal about his views on the decreasing birth rates at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Apparently, studies show that the birth rate of many countries, including the United States, had declined considerably during the pandemic. After 2020, Elon Musk even became more argumentative about his views on the declining birth rates. The tech billionaire believed the world was in great danger because of the decreasing birth rates. Several times in 2022, the billionaire had taken to his favorite social media platform, Twitter, to rant on the importance of increasing birth rates worldwide. Elon Musk took his views outside Twitter when he spoke about expanding the Earth's population at a major conference. This happened in May 2022. According to the billionaire, even if the world wasn't going to increase its population, it should at least maintain its existing numbers. You may wonder why Elon Musk is concerned about the world's population. This billionaire has reasons for his concern. The billionaire believes that declining birth rates pose a concern for the world's civilization and deter humans from being multiplanetary species. If you don't know, Elon Musk is a space fanatic obsessed with moving humans to Mars and other space bodies. In his bid to convince the world of the importance of increasing the world population, Elon Musk has insulted prominent organizations. He once called the data provided by the United Nations utter nonsense. But he didn't stop there. He accused the United Nations of bringing up data whose fundamental calculations are faulty. Elon Musk isn't someone that hides his opinions about anything. With over 130 million followers, the tech billionaire significantly impacts people's beliefs. In Elon Musk's tweets, the billionaire said the public should not believe the figure presented by the United Nations on world population. A careful look at what is happening worldwide shows that Elon Musk might be making an important point. A few occurrences have shown that people continuously lose interest in reproduction. Apart from that, credible data has also shown that several nations worldwide have seen a drastic drop in their birth rates. Right from COVID pandemic, countries started seeing a decline in birth rates due to numerous concerns from parents. People feared that the increasing rate of pandemics and climate change would make the Earth uncomfortable for more children. Not only that, the world within the past few years has been gradually entering into hyperinflation. Things have gotten so hard, many are reducing the number of kids they had planned to have in the future. You would argue if things are getting bad on Earth, then the world really needs fewer people on Earth. But Elon Musk thinks otherwise. The billionaire feels that producing more babies is the answer to the problems the world is facing. However, while Elon Musk continues to rant about the importance of increasing the Earth's population, the decline in the birth rate progresses. The United States isn't left out in the birth rate decline. In fact, data from trusted sources shows that the U.S. birth rate decline is actually worse than many experts had expected. Data showed that the United States witnessed an explicit drop in population growth. From July 2020 to July 2021, the population of the United States grew by only 0.1%. However, the U.S. has been seeing slow growth in its population over the years. The post-COVID pandemic era was significantly worse as the United States saw its population increase by less than a million for the first time since 1937. That decline hasn't been recorded in more than 85 years. Analysis from experts even made the situation worse. According to many professionals, the COVID-19 pandemic had a lasting effect on the demography of the United States. Not only did it reduce the population, but it also changed how people perceived reproduction. Analysts say that the impact of the COVID pandemic has made many people lose interest in bringing new lives into the world. Coupled with the declining world economy, many people are now limiting the maximum number of children they will have to two. This brings Elon Musk's fear back. 
Analysts actually believe that though Elon Musk might be loud with his opinions, he might actually be right with what he is saying. Data shows that the majority of young people in the US are putting off having children. At that rate, it seems like the US population might never recover from its steady downtrend. While Elon Musk might have his ideas, there are even more conspiracy theories about the declining world population. Bill Gates and Elon Musk aren't the best of friends, as the two tech billionaires disagree with each other on many things. The primary topic the public has seen them disagree with is climate change, but they oppose even more fiercely regarding world population. While Elon Musk believes in increasing the world's population by a wide margin, Bill Gates believes in depopulating the Earth. This is where many conspiracy theories come in. There have been hard-flying rumors that Bill Gates collaborated with the World Health Organization to reduce the number of people on Earth. There's more to this conspiracy theory than just the collaboration with the World Health Organization. Many have even opined that Bill Gates and his group of companies could have produced the boosters that the World Health Organization is parading as vaccines. Instead of healing people from the COVID virus, these vaccines would cause more deaths than healing. This conspiracy theory seems true among many who suffered from the COVID virus. Many felt worse and were even close to dying after they took the COVID-19 vaccine. Bill Gates is not making the situation better either. He has spoken publicly many times about why he supports depopulating the Earth. Yes, the Microsoft billionaire had often admitted that he found the idea of reducing the number of people on Earth as a solution to the Earth's problems. While soliciting funds for his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the billionaire has mentioned this many times. Bill Gates strongly opposes Elon Musk, who believes the Earth is already suffering heavily from an insufficient population. However, this is not the first time the two heavyweights will be clashing over a particular topic. Several times, the two billionaires have been at loggerheads with their beliefs, ranging from issues of climate change to population. With Bill Gates' opinion out of view, what could be a long-lasting solution to Elon Musk's concerns? Elon Musk has always been vocal about his depopulation concerns and how it can severely affect the world if handled improperly. The billionaire has spoken on many platforms, including on Twitter and at conferences, on how depopulation threatens man's civilization. For Elon Musk, humans should focus on making more children that will fill the Earth's surface. But a study reveals that people are less concerned about making children after the COVID-19 pandemic. Especially among young people, many don't have giving birth as their priority anymore. So what could be a long-lasting solution to Elon Musk's concerns? There's a solution that is safe and without adverse side effects. It is a womb facility that will allow humans to create more babies that will fill the earth. It is even expected that this womb facility will be able to grow a whopping 30,000 babies at the end of each year. Who is behind this amazing invention and what does the person seek to achieve with it? The womb facility is ingestion spearheaded by film producer and biotechnologist Hashem al Ghali. It is the world's first artificial womb facility called Ecto Life with the promise of helping create more babies to fill the earth. How does this work and are there any potential side effects? According to the developer of this artificial womb facility, it works by removing a woman's uterus. When their uterus is removed, it is used by the womb facility to procreate more babies. The major selling point of this invention is that it produces more babies without premature births. It also ran on renewable energy and was developed in a way it will feel exactly the same as a natural womb. Elon Musk has not made any comments concerning the new womb facility, but every indication shows that it will be a lasting solution to Musk's concerns.